Squarespace Blueprint AI tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the AI built in on a Squarespace which is called uh, Blueprint AI. So you're going to create a customizable or a personalized website with your demand by just typing some few phrases or some few lines that you want to see into your website. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com. Then you need only to sign up for an account within this platform. After that, you're going to see here the five icon of your account or you are going to head over the account dashboard directly. So uh, I did the disclaimer guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, passwords, and uh, profiles are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses so make sure that you are going to use the uh, your own information and here we are on the dashboard of ours so the first thing that you need to do is to click on create website and then we are going simply to see here the guide for creating our website so obviously we are going to set up here from scratch we are going to type in the type of the website or the topic of the website. For example, we are going to create here a design website. Uh, so then we are going to click on next. And for here, we are going to uh, set up the three steps uh, or basic steps to create a website. So what are we going to do with that website? We are going to sell some products, for example, sell services, send invoices, uh, promote a physical business let's say that we have a store uh, showcase uh, work and expertise I'm going to do that so we are going to click on next and here we have the choice to either browse with uh, the templates or use or build with AI which is called blueprint AI so we are going basically to build your custom website by the guidance of the uh, AI so we are going to click on here so we are going to click again on here so we are going to skip that bug it will set up everything right there so we are going to start chatting with the AI of the platform and then we are going to create our own uh, personalized website so we are going to give it a little time as you can see we are on the blueprint AI page so we are going to choose the site title and the brand personality. So this is a text sample at the middle of the screen. We have for on the footer right there, the steps that we need to follow to set up everything. So we have the site information first. We have the design or the content of the homepage, the pages, the colors that we are going to choose, and also, or finally, the font. Now we are going to basically right there set up the title. So we are going to give it a, a name since we have made the design. So we are going to put here Jack. I'm going to type in Jack designs. And for the brand personality, we are going to see here what we are going to uh, use. Either it is going to be professional. Playful, friendly, sophisticated, bored, quirky, or innovative. So we are going to set it as innovative. So we have some uh, thing going on right there. The colors are changing. Also, the uh, name of the website is going to be here sliding from left to right and right to left for each one of the sections. We're going to click on next. And now we are going to customize the home page of ours. So what are we going to need in our home page? So we are going to check uh, the necessary boxes that you need. So we are going to need an intro section uh, like that. Uh, so for the product section, since we are going to uh, sell some products, we are going to need uh, the product section. This is the generated website, as you can see. So you can go ahead and choose the layout right there of uh, this specific area. Here we have this one, so we can choose either that or that or this much simpler. 
So I'm going to basically here to use this one. For the product section, you're going to see here the different layouts. So go ahead and choose your own, for example, like that. And the service section, you can go ahead and enable that by checking this box. You can also here choose the layout that will be more convenient for you. So we are going to maybe select this one. If you want to add an appointment section, you can go ahead and do that. Digital product section, we are going to add that. So it is going to be here something uh, that is going to differentiate between the physical products and also the uh, whether the uh, digital product. So the about section is a must. Social section, you can go ahead and add those. For example, follow us on this one like that. Uh, form section and also the footer section is going to be here. Oh, we are going only to set up the footer of the form. I don't need that. So I'm going to click on next and now add pages to your website. So you are going to see the basic uh, recommended pages that has been added. We have the about, the contact, the shop, the services, the course and the appointment are optional. So we are going to let that like that. We are going to click on next. Now we are going to choose the color palettes or the schemes. So you're going to try every one of these. So if you want, you can go ahead and see that or see the preview of this. So like this, you are going to get the whole idea how we can uh, see the specific area of these colors. So go ahead and test them all until you see here something that would be cool for uh, matching your uh, design. We're going to choose, for example, something like this. This is better, I think. I'm going to try them all and see the difference. This is better, so I'm going to click on next. Now for the font, you're going to see here the list of the font and their preview. So you can go ahead and select the font and it will change all the fonts on the website and give you here the preview of it. It will take a little bit of time, but it is okay. So like that, you're going to see here every font going here. So go ahead and choose your favorite font, for example, like that. And uh, you are going simply to click on finish. Here we have the recommended one, which is sign like this. Don't see a very uh, going or uh, very recommended. So we are going to use that, click on finish. And it is gathering here the information, setting up everything and creating the final step of the website. And here we have the website ready. So as you can see, this is our website. We have the different component. The color palettes are installed, the text, the images, and the different sections. Everything is in order, as you can see, and everything is going to be here editable. So if you want to add it to the website, you are going to click on edit. And here we have everything. So you can either add sections, add blocks, modify some blocks, delete some sections, modify some text, add some buttons, link them. For example, you can go ahead and add a here. We have some products. You can go ahead and uh, select these products. Uh, put some contents instead of that. For example, you can go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and click on save and exit. Then you are going to head over the pages, see that, and the uh, products and services. You can go ahead and modify your product and click on here and see all the products that we have. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.